and welcome to this time of sharing where we come together as brothers and sisters who have an intense love for the Supreme and we come with an open heart to receive a blessing from God. So let us now come to this table where there are many blessings to be had. But first we have lit our candle for peace. And now we say we light a light for global peace and interspiritual unity within the whole family of God. In the name of our beloved Father, Mother, God Supreme, who creates life, in the name of the risen cosmic Christ, who loves life, in the name of the Spirit of God, who is the fire of life, in the name of Gaia, who is the Earth Mother that nurtures the creation of all life, in the name of all faith traditions and none, who are the beloved sons and daughters of divine life. We celebrate our spiritual diversity by honoring the Supreme in all life. So welcome to this table and thank you for joining me. And we begin our evening prayer with the prologue of our brother and sister Essenes of Mount Sinai. We enter the eternal and infinite garden with reverence to the heavenly Father, Mother God, the earthly Mother and all the great Masters, and reverence to the holy, pure and saving teaching, and reverence to the brotherhood and sisterhood of the elect. Sunday evening we commune with the angel of creative work, saying, the Heavenly Father, Mother, God and I are one. We contemplate bees at work, excuse me, and the creative work of all humanity in all spheres of existence. And now we say a special prayer for you who have joined us, for you who have logged in and who have not logged in, and for all light bringers of peace. In the name of all that is, we draw a bloodline by face around ourselves, our health, our abundance, our home, our partners, our children, our grandchildren, our relatives, friends and enemies around our friends and clients and their associates and the brothers and sisters of Heart to Soul Prayer Partners for Peace and the brothers and sisters of the Teo community of interspiritual Franciscans. We draw a bloodline by faith knowing that there is power, wondrous power in the blood of the risen cosmic Christ Jesus and that neither Satan nor any dark energy or entity can ever cross such a bloodline of faith. Amen. Let us be still and let us now invite, invoke and call upon the company of heaven together with our spiritual teachers as we come as one loving family in divine service to love. O oh God, come to my aid. O oh Lord, make haste and help me. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And instead of the hymn for Lent, 
my heart is guided to read this beautiful prayer from Swami Vivekananda. I shall go to the mosque of the Muslim. I shall enter the Christian's church and kneel before the crucifix. I shall enter the Buddhist temple and take refuge in the Buddha. I shall go into the forest and sit down in meditation with the Hindu. In addition, I shall keep my heart open for all that may come in the future. Is God's book finished? Or is revelation still going on? Salutations to all the prophets of the past to all the great ones of the present and to all that are to come in the future. And now I would like to read Psalm 23 from the Old Testament. The Lord is the earth and its fullness the world and all its peoples. It is he who set it on the seas. On the waters he made it firm. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? The man with clean hands and pure heart, who desires not worthless things, who has not sworn so as to deceive his enemy. He shall receive blessings from the Lord and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek him, seek the face of the God of Jacob. O gates, lift high your heads, Grow higher ancient doors. Let him enter the King of Glory. Who is the King of Glory? The Lord, the Mighty, the Valiant. The Lord, the Mighty, is his name. The Lord, the Valiant in war. O gates, lift high your heads. Grow higher ancient doors. Let him enter the King of Glory. Who is he, the King of Glory? He is the Lord of Armies. He is the King of Glory. And as we come into the presence of God, we celebrate our uniqueness as a child of love, as a child of God. And though in our humanity we fail and fall down many times, we are given the perfect example of determination and courage when we look at Jesus the barefoot Galilean, how on his way to Calvary fell three times with the weight of his cross, the weight of my selfishness and sinfulness and yours. But he didn't give in or give up. He didn't lie down and feel sorry for himself or have a tantrum. No, he got up and he embraced whatever. But on the third attempt, Simon of Cyrene, who represents you and me, he took the weight of the cross to allow the Christ go forward in love and sacrifice his life for your freedom and mine. This is the cosmic Christ. This is the one 
who inspires us each day not to give in to selfishness, but to be still and to honor the teachings of all the spiritual masters, not to pick and choose what suits us, but to reflect on the true meaning of the teachings of the Great Ones, the Lord Buddha, Vishnu, Ganesh, Krishna, Jesus, Francis, Sri Chimoy, Gandhi, Osho, Mia Baba, Rumi, and to listen to our hearts, to honor our heart, regardless of what the head is saying, or what our friends are telling us, but to take that leap of faith and to walk the solitary path in the knowledge that we are loved. Let us be still now. And I have two beautiful quotes here from His Holiness, the Dalai Lama, which I share with you. And the first resonates with my heart and is very much in keeping with a lot of the teachings of Sri Chimoy and Francis, the power of love. A good heart is both important and effective in daily life. And on reaping the benefits, he says, the reason why we seek to behave in a good manner is that it's from good behavior that good fruits are derived. And now I would like to read to you from John O'Donohue to bless the space between us. And this is what my heart was guided to read for evening prayer. And it's the loss of ritual leaves us naked in our rites of passage. A threshold is a significant frontier where experience banks up. There is intense concrescence. It is a place of great transformation. Some of the most powerful thresholds divide worlds from each other life in the womb from birth, childhood from adolescence, adulthood from middle age, old age from death. And on each side there is a different geography of feeling, thinking and being. The crossing of a threshold is in effect a rite of passage. Our culture has little to offer us for our crossings. Never was there such talk of communication or such technology to facilitate it. Yet at the heart of our newfound wealth and progress there is a gaping emptiness and we are haunted by loneliness. While we seem to have progressed to become experts in so many things, multiplying and acquiring stuff whether we neither need nor truly want, we have unlearned the grace of presence and belonging. With the demise of religion Many people are left stranded in a chasm of emptiness and doubt. Without rituals to recognize, to celebrate or negotiate the vital thresholds of people's lives. The key crossings passed by, undistinguished from the mundane everyday rituals of life. This is where we need to retrieve and reawaken our capacity for blessing. 
if we approach our decisive thresholds with reverence and attention, the crossing will bring us more than we could ever have hoped for. This is where blessing invokes and awakens every gift the crossing has to offer. In our present ritual, poverty, the Celtic tradition, has much to offer us. So let us reflect on the importance of honouring sacred ritual in our daily lives as forming an essential part of our rite of passage as a child of God, seeking wholeness, wellness and unity with the Beloved. Let us experience the love at this table, a love that is unquestionable, a love that inspires us, regardless of how we're feeling, to lift our hearts towards the Supreme and give thanks for every situation. Let us celebrate. Let us celebrate when we say the beautiful prayer dedicated to Mother Mary and we offer it in dedication to Kuan Yin, Magdalena and Kaya. Please join me. My soul magnifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God who is my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and he scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and he exalts the lowly. He fills the starving with good things and sends the rich away empty handed. He protects Israel his servant. That is you and me as promised to our fathers Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father, Mother, God Supreme, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our Teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And now, my dear friends, we come to our evening intercessions where we bring what weighs heavy on our heart and we take the words of Jesus, the barefoot Galilean, the risen cosmic Christ, to our heart because he said, where two or three are gathered in my name, I am with you. Let us pray for all of you who have joined me. Let us pray for dear Nirmala and our brother Kidar. Let us pray for you who are watching but not logged in. Let us remember dear sister Elizabeth and Eleanor and all that they do to promote this channel and to raise awareness for many who embrace interfaith, that many will come and share the richness of their belief with all of us to allow us understand the meaning of sacred ritual and rite of passage. Let us remember dear Eleanor who's in severe pain. Let us ask Christ, the physician of her soul, 
who sees her needs to bring her his peace. Let us remember little LJ who weighs heavy on my heart and his mom and dad. But let us remember Elizabeth's daughter and also dear Bonnie and her sister Catherine in Tampa, Florida. Sister Buffy and her son Ian. And also we pray for Tom that he will find happiness in what he's doing. We pray for all the brothers and sisters of the Tail community of St. Francis around the world, for dear Miriam in New Zealand and her mom, and that her mom will be given all the help she needs from the statutory bodies to promote her juice spa, to raise awareness for the amazing teachings of Sri Chimoy, a man of God, a man of peace. Let us pray for Sister Sue, who's now in Yorkshire supporting her Aunt Evelyn, who's elderly and frail. Let us remember our members who've embraced the contemplative life as hermits or as solitary monastics who've renounced the world and who live a simple life, having dedicated their life to God for unity and peace. Let us pray for all religious leaders, that they will come out of their ivory castles and that they will mix and meet with the real people of the world, especially the marginalized, those on the periphery who are hurting the many young families who are struggling because of the recession. Let us pray for those who live on the streets, the homeless, for Hamish, who's a regular visitor to our door, for the street children of the world. Let us remember the victims of violence, and those who perpetrate violent acts. Let us pray for all God's children, many of whom are struggling and suffering, and for peace in Syria, especially between the Shiite and Sunni Muslim, and that the Islamic leaders of the world will unite and act as a go-between to bring around a peaceful solution to the problems there. We pray for Kath who's ill in hospital. We remember this evening all who ask us for prayer. Too many to mention, but God knows them by name. But I'd like to mention Gloria and her dear friend Michael who's in a hospice in Canada for Sheila in Dublin, and for dear Mary and her husband, Pori, who need God's help tonight. For our dear sister, Lindsay, who's not been well recently. But let us pray for Lindsay, and we say thank you, God, for Joy sending her the painting of Metatron, as promised. Let us bring all our needs all our requests. Oh, and let us remember dear sister Elsie, who had her purse stolen on Friday, where she lives, when she was shopping in Oxfam, in the Oxfam shop. And let us pray for those who did such a heinous deed. And let us pray for all who seek to embezzle from other people. And now we say the prayer, the Lord's Prayer, the beautiful prayer that Sister Miriam sent us. Eternal Spirit, Earth Maker, Pain Bearer, Life Giver, Source of all that is and that shall be, Father and Mother of us all, Loving God in whom is Heaven. 
the hallowing of your name echoes through the universe. The way of your justice be followed by the peoples of the world. Your heavenly will be done by all created beings. Your commonwealth of peace and freedom sustain our hope and come to us. With the bread we need for today, feed us. In the hurts we absorb from one another, forgive us. In the times of temptation and test, strengthen us. From trials too great to endure, spare us. From the grip of all that is evil, free us. For you reign in the glory of the power that is love, now and forever. Amen. And the closing prayer is a prayer by Charles de Foucault, and it's called Abandonment to God. Father, Mother God, I abandon myself into your hands. Do with me what you will. Whatever you do, I thank you. I am ready for all, I accept all. Let only your will be done in me, as in all your creatures. I ask no more than this, my Lord Supreme. Into your hands I commend my soul. I offer it to you, O Lord, with all the love of my heart. For I love you, my God, and so need to give myself, to surrender myself into your hands. Without reserve and with total confidence, for you are my Father, Mother God. And that was by Charles de Foucault, 1858 to 1916. And now we close our evening prayer with the blessing. The blessing of heaven, the blessing of earth, the blessings of sea and sky on those we love this day and on every human family, the gifts of heaven, the gifts of earth, the gifts of sea and sky and the gifts from brother sun and sister moon be in our hearts now and forevermore. Amen. And that, my dear friends, brings us to the end of Sunday evening prayer. Thank you for joining me. May God reward you and bless you. Namaste. Shalom inshallah paxet bonum. Om shanti. Solo de caritas. Peace. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. God bless you.